my name is Ashley Storby, field agronomist with Pioneer in Southern Minnesota. I'm here today in a soybean field that was recently harvested. As you can see behind me, the travel patterns are very evident from both the grain cart and the combine from how wet this field was when it was harvested. One of the concerns of traveling across the field when the soil moisture is high is this allows for a greater intensity and depth of compaction as the soil moisture acts as a lubricant and allows those soil particles to pack together more tightly. There are a few things that we can take note of throughout harvest to help prevent additional or, or more widespread soil compaction. One of the things to consider is to manage your travel patterns and reduce those if at all possible. When controlling traffic patterns, pay close attention to your grain cart. When full, this is generally the heaviest piece of equipment traveling your field. Research from the University of Minnesota has shown axle loads higher than 10 tons can cause compaction two to three feet deep, regardless of whether tracks or tires are used. The grain cart shown here holds 780 bushels and weighs over 10 tons. When full, this total weight is over 30 tons. Another thing to consider in season is maintaining optimal tire pressure for both your combine and your grain cart. This is going to allow most effective operation of that machinery and also prevent additional compaction from occurring. Another in-season activity is to assess the depth of your compaction to determine if your intended tillage program will be effective in breaking up that compaction layer. Here I've dug a hole in the headlands to try to find how deep that compaction layer is. Um, this hole that I've dug is about 21 inches deep. And to find that compaction layer, I'll take my knife and start at the bottom of that hole and pull upward until the resistance changes significantly. So there I pulled upward until that resistance changed and I was unable to pull that knife up without significant effort. So I'll look to see how deep that is here. like the bottom of our compaction layer at this part of the headlands is a little over 11 inches deep. Tillage is an effective tool for reducing field compaction. In the long term, also consider the use of deep-rooted cover crops or alfalfa if this fits in your rotation as these are also effective in reducing existing soil compaction. Soil compaction can significantly reduce yield potential. Aside from preventing and mitigating existing soil compaction, one thing to consider as we move into the next year is choosing hybrids and soybean varieties with above average emergence characteristics to be placed on farms with compaction concerns. Thank you and be safe. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.